All right, yo, so the Ravens beat the uh, Browns. <clears throat> Final score was 24-10. to 10. Um, yo, The defense looked amazing again. Uh, offensively, they weren't too bad. They could have put this game away a lot sooner. Uh, just like last week, they, our offense should have scored 40 points at least. Um, Joe today was 25 for 34, uh, which isn't bad. He had 217 yards passing, two touchdowns, one interception. Uh, the one interception that he did throw, uh, he was confused, I think. I think he saw cover three and it was cover two. Mike Wallace cut off the route. because To me, it looked like Wallace was running all like a post. And Joe thought he was going to run the seam. And uh, Joe threw it like over the top right to two, two defenders. And... Uh, it was a bad throw. Wallace uh, cut off the route, and yeah, that that was the only interception. Um, I don't know what Wallace's deal is, but he just cannot get going. He, he I think he had one catch for like seven yards or something today. Um, receiving wise, Macklin looked good. That scared me. That uh, that uh, first completion to him where he went out looked like a uh, guy pulled like his uh, shoulder out of. Uh, like dislocated his shoulder, but um, Macklin had four catches for 31 yards. Watson, Watson is a beast. I'm, I'm glad that he's healthy and back. Um, but he had eight for 91, so he was looking good. Uh, rushing the ball, uh, Allen had 14 carries for 66 yards. West had eight for 22. West just looked, and West had a touchdown. West just like I don't know, he couldn't get like his jump step down he like he doesn't come straight downhill he likes doing that side stutter jumps to the side stuff and then going through the hole he just couldn't get it he just couldn't get it going um collins he looked good he had seven carries for 42 yards but the thing that i don't like about uh collins is he's he's averaging one fumble for every 20 carries and it's just that that's way too much so he needs to he needs to hold the ball high and tight and stop putting it on the ground. Um, defensively, so Suggs looks like a, a new person. He looks like he looked uh, years ago when he was winning Defensive Player of the Year. He's in there. He's disrupting the offense every play. He's always in the quarterback's face or uh, in the running back's face when they as soon as they get handed the ball. Our defense with, uh, I, I love Brandon Carr and, and Humphreys. Humphreys looked good. Brandon Carr looked good today. Uh, Tony Jefferson, he had uh, two plays where he was a little bit out of position, but he made up for it. Um, Webby, Webby looked all right. You, you know me, I really do not like, like Ladarius Webb at all, but he looked all right. Um, Weddle, Weddle was looking good. He saved uh, two touchdowns tackling the guy uh, at the very end of the play. Um, but yeah, uh, on defense we had four interceptions, two forced fumbles, I believe, and three sacks. Well, four sacks. Suggs had a sack and he had a sack fumble, but for some reason in the stats it only counts as a fumble. It doesn't count as a sack and a fumble. But um, yeah, our defense, our defense is nasty. If, if the offense can put up uh, to beat good teams, they're going to have to put up 30 points. They're going to have to put up over 30 points, I think. So if our defense can start putting up 300 yards passing a game, 100, 120, 140 yards rushing, I don't think anybody can beat us. It's just our offense is going to have to start playing. Mike Wallace is going to have to start playing. Uh, Collins is going to have to stop putting the ball on the ground. Terrence West is going to have to get running, get going downhill instead of to the sides, you know. But that's me. So, Tucker did miss a 58-yard uh, field goal, which really could have hurt us at the end of the half. But we got an interception right after it, and we ended up kicking a uh, shorter field goal. So didn't hurt that bad. But all right, I'm out. What did y'all think of the game? All right, later. Peace.